been a few days since the release of Update Direct Hit, and surprisingly, it has gone down well okay for a Gaussian update. Normally, there's some sort of controversy regarding certain aspects. We've got 30 new vehicles, or well, actually 38 new vehicles, at the 7th of September. We've got three bundle aircraft, 11 tanks, 11 ships, four premium ships, a squadron helicopter, and we've got three bundle uh, slash gift aircraft, which is not exactly the most amount of content. And while it was disappointing to see, there were a lot of nice changes in the patch. So, what do I think of update direct hit? Well, first and foremost, the patch is okay. New sounds, new game design means that, well, players can immerse themselves and optionally get themselves deafened every time they start the game. Always tricky when every update comes around because you have to balance your audio settings exactly precise in order to really hear your enemies effectively, particularly in ground forces where they've made artillery and the sounds and ambient sounds so loud you can't even hear your own engine, let alone the enemies. But there are some neat changes. For example, we've got cockpit mirrors, and they are now high definition and actually don't look like a blurry mess. So that's fantastic for those of us who actually will use cockpits. Bomber cockpits when? Guys. But the more important update was really that they fixed fuel consumption. It was based on connection quality. Oh, no, no. I guess that's why my fuel consumption fluctuated to up to a thousand percent because I have Australian internet. Oh, no. Uh... As it was, incorrect display of fuel has been corrected. That mistakenly depended on the connection quality. Oh no, such a shame. And yet, the fuel issue is still prevalent within top tier. And obviously, the aircraft shooting themselves down with their own guns. I had a was flying MiG-27 and managed to shoot myself down and critically damage myself. So, you know, you've all fantastic changes. I'm sure they were deemed necessary. But a little quality of life patch would have probably been better instead of just rushing the patch outright. I get you have... A tight content to schedule but in the same sense what exactly are you doing you know <laughs> there was a lot of bugs a lot of glitches and a lot of other interesting things which i'm sure will be ironed out over time but it is what it is and speaking of the patch generally how do you guys feel that the patch is done for me it's a little disappointing to see there only being one or two world war ii vehicles in the content while that might not be the focus of the whole entire game anymore it's still disappointing that there's no sort of mid to high tier or late tier uh, vehicles in that list. Something like rank 4, rank 5 would have been nice to see. That way you'd satisfy not just all the players. Feels like they pulled the Shackleton out just specifically to say, haha, yeah guys, look, Britain's got something. When indefinitely that is probably the worst thing they probably could have gotten in any capacity. 29,000 repair cost, by the way. Oh, and it's a bomber also as well, so it's kind of a bit fuck-all useless. But hey, it's a Shackleton. It'll be useful when, you know, more naval assets come out later down the line, when it can have its surface radar actually be used. It's just disappointing, because, you know, five years too late, apparently the Shackleton has been sitting there for that long, then it's kind of a bit disappointing. I understand it's addition now, uh, but still... You know, it would have been nice to see a few years ago when it was actually deemed viable. And unless you're really into top-tier aircraft, well, poor Italy, they get another 104. Uh, and obviously, you know, France gets a copy-paste F8. So reality is that the only real new content for the patch is really the Vigor. And obviously the MiG-27, but that only has, you know, R60s. And obviously they haven't necessarily fixed the R60 wobble or missiles in general because... Well, sometimes the game doesn't really know how to calculate things correctly, hence the wobble when you watch a missile. Although there is missiles, actually, you know, they fly off the rails now, which is fantastic. But still, they'll probably correct this when they're ready to add AIM-9Ls properly to the game. Suffice to say that the update is okay. There isn't really anything that is majorly wrong, besides from maybe the fuel consumption and a few other bugs that other content creators have picked up upon. There are some nice general changes. We've got a new test driving map. We've got all sorts of things. Two new locations, etc, etc. So there's plenty of content per se. But at the same time, it feels a little lackluster. Mainly because we're probably not getting a new tech tree every other second or third update. So it doesn't feel like we're getting a lot of content. Rather than we're just getting more direct focused content. And even that needs to be... I guess quality of life a little bit but yeah those are my thoughts on the direct hit update let me know what you think in the comments down below personally this is okay it's nothing great nothing to write home about but there are and it, there's nothing broken about the patch and i guess that's what's really important anyway thanks for watching i'll catch the next one soon Bye bye